Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's me, Ricky Cadden, back again with another Real Life Stock Review. Hope you guys have had an amazing week. Uh, the market is absolutely going bonkers right now. Cannot believe it, but uh, somebody said that we were bullish. I hope you guys have been staying long on the markets. Not a whole lot of bearish news out there happening, and uh, not a whole lot of volatility either. Just Everyone just keeps on buying them dips. So let's, let, let's take a quick look at the SPY. So we did get a nice little retest gap uh, today on the SPY on Thursday. And realistically, if you have a look at the five minute, we just traded sideways very, very much for the, for the majority of the day. And then as soon as we broke out, we had this nice little cute little retest and then traded higher. If you take a look at the E-minis, the afternoon session, we've just been coming back to the 100. Every time we come back down to the 100, we get bought up. We had a little bit of a dip here that we got bought up. We're going up and then back to the 100, going back up, back to the 100, going back up. So if you are looking for a buying location, guys, anywhere between the 100 and the 200 does seem to be like a very nice buying location. But uh, let's take a look at some stocks. So here's Shake Shack. I know a couple of real life traders in this one uh, with me. So Shake Shack just bottoming out here and a really good thing to look at here is the monthly chart. Uh, so the monthly chart, we had this beautiful, we had this amazing uh, big bullish run, you know, at the start of the year, and then we come back down, falling from grace, thinking that we're going to bounce off this particular resistance level here. However, we've just come back down on the weekly chart to the 100 simple moving average, which we have bounced off here just a few times before. And uh, look at this amazing volume that we're getting here on the weekly chart. So. Stay long on Shake Shack, guys. Expect a little bit of a pause action happening around the 100 and the 200 on the daily chart. Um, but all in all, if you are looking to hold Shake Shack long term, looks absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at Facebook. Now, Facebook's not doing a whole lot, just creating some new all time highs as they do. And uh, everyone just keeps buying them dips. We did have this nice little breakout above this level right here. Cute little breakout, little retest, and traded higher. So this is not the time to be buying Facebook, guys. I probably would, I probably would be waiting for a little bit of a pullback, um, probably back into the shorter term moving averages. As you can see here, when we come back down to the 50, was a very nice dip. We haven't seen the 20 for a couple of weeks, so if you do want to look to buy a dip, just a nice little dip back into the 20 would be a very nice buying location. Let's take a look at Foot Locker. Now Foot Locker is at a buying location as well. I know a few people who are in this long term and uh, this one could potentially slowly but surely just trade sideways and then bounce out of here. If you take a look at the long term uh, on the, sorry, on the weekly chart, take a look at the long term, the moving averages are still, ha have been a resistance for a while and on the monthly chart, we are staying above the 200, which is a good sign, guys. So if you are in Foot Locker, don't lose faith. Um, now is a very nice time to be looking at buying if, if you are looking at a long-term investment. Um, but Foot Locker, just at the moment, is just going sideways. A few of you are in HLF, uh, a couple of people in HLF, and I must say, it looks quite bullish. We did get this beautiful double bottom action right here a cute little retest there off the neckline and we are just consolidating here sideways makes a whole lot of sense here guys on the weekly chart we are still trapped between the 100 and the 200 simple moving average however if we can get above there i do think we can slowly but surely grind back up to you know 50 back up into the mid 50s so hlf just trading sideways if you are in some long-term shares probably could sell a covered call up around fifty dollars just wait and see we are getting some decent volume coming in so just um, bear in mind that we could potentially break out and then go higher here's urban outfitters ticker symbol urbn and another one that i would just like to say i am probably surprisingly bullish on this at the moment. We did get a, a nice little double bottom, short-term retest to go higher. However, here is the long-term retest of that particular neckline. So coming back down to the 200 
on the daily chart and one thing you really want to notice is on the monthly chart we are at a very very decent level here uh, a lot of price action happening around this particular level here um, and we're getting some decent levels going at the most on the monthly chart we are currently at the 200 simple moving average on the monthly so it does it does make a lot of sense the reason why we did have a little bit of a pullback here however once we break out above that look for a cute little retest and uh, I think this one will slowly head away we are getting a nice little crossover with the moving averages so I do expect this thing to slowly slowly trend higher it's not going to be something that's just going to rocket out of here Let's take a look at the all odds now I did say a while ago that we are probably going to be a little bit bullish as soon as we hit 7,000 I know I mentioned this in my last review and we did actually hit 7,200 today and we are just retracing so a lot of people starting to take their profits you look you take a look at the five minute we had this beautiful run up at the start of the day and as soon as we cross that level everyone's just slowly taking their profits for the day but all in all be bullish on the markets guys on the shorter term moving averages I think we could be due for a little bit of a pullback we have technically I mean we've had we've had four green days in a row um, but if we're looking at a longer term you know the last seven days have been absolute bonkers so I do expect us to have a cute little retest before we do go higher. Let's take a look at CBA. Now CBA did break this particular double top level and we are going higher. And I do expect us to, um, I still do expect us to trade sideways a little bit longer. But if we, if we can come back down, I do think that we will bounce off this level and then slowly trade higher. If you take a look at the monthly chart. I mean, we do have we do have some way to go we can our next our next high is around 87.92 ish uh, and then above that isn't until 96 so I think we could probably come back up to these 80 you know the 88 level and then probably look for a nice little dip buying opportunity for a long-term investment a uh, couple of traders got into ANZ off my analysis the last few weeks well done to you guys um, this one is going to be a long-term trade just bear that in mind we did get this beautiful little double bottom currently are getting a nice little retest and uh, I do expect these moving averages to cross over and then slowly grind higher so well done to you traders who did take ANZ you guys are going absolutely amazing and uh, PLS now there was a guy that did a stock review probably a while ago from Australia um, he he mentioned that this was a really nice buying location off the monthly chart right back here off the 100 uh, I hope you guys bought off that level we are up 8.5 percent today and this is a very nice dip buying location uh, it did take a little bit of time to obviously bounce um, but remember guys buy low sell high this was a very nice long-term opportunity if you were looking to get into PLS so a lot of if you are a trader who did take this particular trade let me know um, on the weekly chart we did get we do have this beautiful little double bottom here and I do expect a small little retest and then I do expect us to slowly trade higher Let's take a look at flight center ticker symbol FLT now flight center on the weekly chart not doing a whole lot here we are stuck at the 200 simple moving average and on the daily chart we are currently stuck between uh, we are currently stuck between the 100 and the 200 simple moving average makes a whole lot of sense to be fairly choppy here guys I did mention back here that this is a time to buy so if you did take that particular trade probably look to take some off the table take take uh, take some profits off the table this is a very nice location you would have made a nice little four dollar gain on that one and here's Telstra ticket symbol TLS and if you recall my review back on this day here after this beautiful bullish candle I did say expect a 50% retracement of that particular candle and then look to buy so if you did have a limit order set up on this day if you didn't get filled then you would have gotten filled on this day here and you would be very very happy at the moment up about 10% 
currently. I do expect us to slowly grind higher. We do have the 200 simple moving average here on the weekly chart in the way. So just bear in mind, we will uh, probably pause here for a little bit. Uh, but once we can get above the 200, guys, I do think we will slowly but surely grind back higher. Let's take a look at some commodities. I am currently swing trading oil at the moment. Uh, based off the analysis I did the other day, we do have this beautiful little Morningstar-esque pattern here and we got a beautiful little hammer candle here as well. So we are currently at 200 and I do expect us to at least trade uh, probably up to about 61 uh, basic, based off this particular level here, here, here and here. Uh, so if you are currently looking at a trade on oil, uh, now is probably a nice time to get in. Uh, for the short term, I think that we will most likely get to about $61. Uh, long term, we'll wait and see. Let's take a look at gold. Now gold, I'll just take off these levels there, my hourly levels, but we are creating a very cute little pennant pattern here. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have got two inside day candles. So we got this nice little bullish candle, beautiful trapping candle here with this uh with this amazing hammer here, Hammer of Thor. And uh, we've got another inside day candle straight after this one. So we're gonna kind of see where this one breaks out. We could break either way. If we do break bullish, look, makes a lot of sense. But if we break bearish, I'll just look to buy the dip on this one, guys. Gold is at a very nice level. We are currently retesting this particular high on gold. So I am more bullish than bearish on gold as we speak. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Uh, last but not least, and we are getting some beautiful wicks coming in here, guys. And uh, I am currently quite bullish on on the Aussie dollar, actually. So we are we are bar we are we are currently above the 200 simple moving average. Uh, we are getting a very very nice upward trend here. Uh, have to wait and see if we break this if we break this left shoulder high. We haven't currently broken it yet. Uh, we could potentially come back down, but if we do come back down to the 100 um, and we don't close below this particular level, I will most definitely be bullish. It would be a fake out. Uh, trade on that one. But that's all i got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want me to review any stocks, any trades, any tickers, Forex pairs, you name it. Leave it in the comment section below. I'll be back next week on Tuesday with another real life stock review. Have a great weekend and remember, love life, live life and trade it. See you all soon. Bye.